Hey guys, we're here for a new episode of the show that is yet to be named. I almost said five for talking, but I didn't. But now I told you that I did, so it's too late. Uh, we're talking video games that we want made into movies or TV shows. And I'm here with Putty from Putty, the Putty Man from Putty Man, and Putty's Poppy, Poppy Poopy Pals. And I'm also here with Johnny Donuts Triple Seven. He likes donuts. He once ate 777 donuts. That's how he got the name. Um, you can check them out. Their stuff will be in the bio. And uh, we'll just get into this. I always say bio. I mean description. You guys know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, mm-hmm. I don't care. So I'm going to start this off because it's not really a list. So I, I'm going to go first. And I would love to see Bioshock made into a series. Like full Netflix. Because you could go, there's so much story to tell. And then if it does well, you can make a sequel show that talks about the uh, Sky universe. So you could have the Underwater Columbia. universe as one. Yeah, you can have uh, Rapture and Columbia, two separate shows. And I think that would work very well. Nice. You can go next, buddy. Me okay, so I'm gonna do a, 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 a call to caps and 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 say this: they can be movies or series. I'd rather them be movies, but it's gonna be called the Valve Multiverse, which is Portal and Half Life. The reason I say that I feel like it'd be good to introduce Half Life, introduce these characters, but then leave hints to the Portal movie, and then bring the Portal movie out, make it a whole different thing, and leave hints to Half Life, and then all of a sudden you're like. Wait, these are connected. For those that never played the game, of course, the people who want to play the game will know, but the people in the movie are like, well, how are these connected? And then when they start bringing them together, because again, I said in the other thing, Sandra Bullock playing that part of Shell, there's two characters here that have no personality, but the game itself has the personality. Just bring in some good actors to play those parts, and I guarantee you, you can have a great little multiverse in the Valve universe. So that's why. Oh, like the I'm Orange thinking. Box multiverse. And, oh my God. Because even Team Fortress could be something on the side that's happening. Get right? out of here with yeah. TFC. Like Team T- Team Fortress could be a TV show within that world. How that? Like a kid to, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the that's the military. That's the military part of all that. You know what I mean? They're, they're, when they need soldiers, they call in the, the, the people. And you know, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's awesome. Okay, I'm good. Uh, mine. It's. Uh, I'm gonna go with one of them. Is Mass Effect. Mass Effect needs to be a series of movies, like a trilogy of movies. I think that's that's a good idea, and I think it would work really well as a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like just the three games that matter, because mm-hmm. we don't count Andromeda. But um, <laughs> I think like and going back to I don't know if it comes out, but like my fan casting Jessica Chastain, and bring back Seth Green as Joker. Okay. I'm down for that. I'll take that. Not Batman Joker for the no. people. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, okay, so I, I, this is what I was talking about in the other one. Like, I, I, pl- I prepared this. So I want, uh, like I said, Brenda Song. Uh, I would rather have Stephanie Hsu as the main character to play uh, Sakura Kasagano. Um, but, I mean, either way, I could take either one. And what I want to do is I want the show to be centered around her as the main character of a new, um, like, we'll, we'll use, like, the younger characters or the newer characters from Street Fighter, and they're, like, put together as a unit to do whatever, okay? Here's mm-hmm. where it gets good. They're being mentored by the people who were the characters from the movie. So you have Jean-Claude Van Damme as Guile. You bring <laughs> back the guys that played Ken and Ryu. Um, Ali Minogue. Kylie Minogue, Kylie Minogue and, then, and you Cammy. bring back what? What's her name? That's playing in um, the Mandalorian. I mean, oh, you're Mandalorian. talking about oh, um, Ming Na Wen. Yeah, Ming-Na as, as, as bring her back as Chun Li. She's fantastic, and I think you use them sparingly, but you show them enough so that it gives some validity to what it is, and and gives that like universe. nostalgia because it's going to bring people in. That's what your draw is, right? And then there's all these new characters that you can use, and by doing this, you don't hurt the IP because you're not. If it it's not like the main characters that are going through the story, so it's not going to affect like the fan. Oh, you're ruining my characters. No, because nobody really knows these characters, and in terms of like story wise, and I think that's a really good idea. I would love to see that as as a TV show. That would that would be really really good. Mm-hmm. I guess uh, anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody else? We just started. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, so. 
I have a series for you guys. Here's my pitch, all right? I'm, I'm, let's do this like a pitch me, okay? Now, you guys have heard American Horror Story, right? You know how each season they have, like, the same actors, but they go into a new role? Or they go into a new role, but it's still based on the whole story? What if we have the same thing, but the actor's playing the same character, but sometimes in a very alternate world, all right? And this is a very famous character you all know and love. Imagine him being able to like one season is one game then one season is another game and that way you get different stories i hear what, what you're I mean, saying what i'm saying okay. is the legend of zelda as a series and each season is each one of the games that are different so you have a doors mass season you have hey, a twilight okay. princess series season you have a you see what i'm saying and it would keep the same characters but they would play them each differently and you would still keep the cohesive story but at the same time you don't have to worry about how there's no connection you could just be like hey each season it's a different world or a different a universe but at least you get your core story each season and you could cast different people to play the characters every time so it doesn't you want as long a- as long as i get dakota fanning as zelda once there you go but you see what i'm saying Can I have how, l how fanning that- as zelda once there you go you know what that'll work but it All would right. work wouldn't it because then yeah too- i think so too and on. i think if you really did that and you change the cast every time, it takes away from the aspect of this is all connected because it's not. Mm-hmm. And it, it gives yeah. you, you get to experience the stories. And I think that would work, especially if you do well, it like in like short run, like eight episode seasons. Yeah. Well, do you know what made me think of this also? As you know how they got the whole Disney Plus series with the, the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Those are still connected, but you notice how each person took it and did it in their own way, like the Mandalorian being directed with, 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 with uh, uh, you know, like how Robert Rodriguez is directing the episodes in Boba Fett, but not doing Mandalorian because he fits that whole Boba Fett thing. That's my whole point. You could get someone that does a darker approach and do Majora's Mask and be able to do it perfectly, but would never be able to do Twilight Princess. That's you know what I mean. mean. You individually, yeah. Yeah. everything, is, like you, maybe you keep the same writers on board, but everything would be in the style of the show. Everything would be different. I would think that's a really the, good yeah. idea. I think that, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. I, yeah. I'm going to come off yours when I get there, but go, JD. Um, I would like to see a Monkey Island TV series. Ooh, Whoa. That would work so well, too. Ooh, in the like, power- it's, it, because the games are episodic, right? Give me, give me a bit of a pitch here. Give me a bit of a pitch here. <laughs> so <laughs> we like it, it's like Guybrush and LeChuck. Like they, it's this long, like. It starts off because apparently um, it's like a simulation, isn't it? Like apparently one of the games. So he goes into simu- into a simulation where it's like he's transported into like this swashbuckling pirate. It gets to it puts the you can put yourself in that character's position because Guybrush, you can put yourself in that position. So it's like taken from the viewer's perspective, and he's going on these adventures. And every episode is a little different. He goes to like he has to solve puzzles. It's more of like a puzzle solving. Like I like that as like a mystery thing because you yeah, can, you get that you can have that Indiana Jones element to it. Well, with little pirates in like, the Caribbean thrown yeah, like, in. Yeah, like the solving things from like National Treasure where he had to figure out. You know, like oh, yeah. that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. I like. That. I would. Yeah, I think. And then you know, it all spoiler for the game. It turns out that LeChuck and Guybrush are brothers. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. I know, but it's a, it's a, I know it's a 30 year old game and it's a, I don't, I don't want to spoil no, it, no, but no, yeah. No. And that's how the series ends that they find out that they're brothers and that's why they're locked in this never ending battle. I really like that idea. So like, I have a lot here, but um, I'm going to go kind of out of my order here and I'm going to go with putty because I want to stay. So if you have something Zelda based, you should bring it up soon. Um, I want a show that has nothing to do with the Zelda games. Okay. Um, but I wanted to reference them constantly, kind of like The Witcher, but I wanted to not be um, following the storyline. I wanted to be an aged, grizzled Link who has done all these great things and saved the world all this time, but nobody cares about him anymore. The next generation of people, the Gen Z people, don't know even know who he is, and he's just like a drunk at a bar now, and he doesn't know what to do with his life because everyone else like has stories. died. And he's basically like, we'll just call him like close to a mortal, not a mortal, but like he ages differently. So he's like really like 90 years old, but he looks like he's like 40. And he he just like, and then he gets called out for this new adventure. And it's just like a whole thing. I, I just want to subvert people's expectations and, and give something different while still having like 
the baseline of it's the like story. a reluctant hero kind of thing. Yeah, like, like he doesn't want to do it anymore. He's done. Yeah. He he saved the world and he nobody cares. And nobody cares about him. Yeah, I like that. And I think it would be cool. I just pictured it in my head because like I'm thinking like an older and you could even use like a, a really like dirty looking Orlando Bloom like he had in his thing. Yeah. And I think that that's a cool way to do it because he's about that age now. You let him grow a beard and look all like dirty. Give him a dirty yeah. green suit. <laughs> like Because it's still they're still living in the times of like medieval looking era. Right. Like you could just have it yeah. be a little bit later. It's more populated. And nobody yeah, cares. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know if that's I like that. Idea. No, that's a great idea. Can I come in my next one? You yeah, it's your turn. One? Okay, cool. Um, hey, by the way, guys, you, you <laughs> know this, <laughs> you just, no, no, just look over the game. Do you guys remember when I brought you that Zelda thing and you're like, that's amazing, and it became huge? Remember? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a new one for you guys, and it is video game related. So listen, imagine <laughs> that there's a young man, all right, that he's living underground, all right? And He's had to live underground. He was born underground. This is a series just like the Zelda one, right, guys? So he's in there, and he has his own number. The location he has is a number and everything. Doug Trio, the movie. (laughs) No, no, no. no, Doug Trio, the movie. But what makes this great is you can actually continue their series by having other people's perspective because the game really has no main characters, but there's so much story, backstory that you could do it. And that big dug it's close, it's still underground, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Fallout the series, but that is happening, is, is it? it really? Yeah, what? Where have we been? Amazon. <laughs> I, oh, from- yeah, Amazon. Oh my god, I forgot about Amazon that. is no doing way. Fallout. Okay, but hold on, I like, I like where Putty's going with this. Because see, I see, because think about this. You know, you know how like in The Walking Dead, you have all these supporting characters that are in different locations, things of that nature? This is what you can do with the Fallout series. Everybody's different. You can have different characters have different aspects of how they see the world. Remember in Fallout 4, where they're actually, you literally see them running away and actually nuke and they had to go underground? You could show that as another season, someone else's perspective. And they, they, they are older now and they come out of the vault. But of course, you have this kid also that meets them and they talk about their past. So many backstories you can do, but the lore a fallout is what's going to make people love it you know just the, the different vaults all the enemies things of that nature and each just, season is a different vault exactly let me let me exactly. pitch you an idea on your idea i'm down let's do this okay first. so just the season one comes and i like his idea where it's a new vault every time but season one comes along and they every episode is focused on one event uh, it's it's all circling one event where somewhat something happens to this one person and they go off and do their thing and you never find out who the main character is until like halfway into the season when they're finally like of the five people you've seen or six people you've seen so far this one's actually the main character so you didn't know which one you were gonna end up following mm-hmm. but somehow they all end up together in like an event that's happening and you find out who's the main character and then everything happens and the season ends and then boom the next season is the next vault and it you it just leaves everything behind. And it's like it. I think that will mess with people's heads because you don't know where it's going. And then when it's over, you're like, "What?" And then the next season comes, and it's completely different. Hey, hey! The success of Legend of Zelda. I'm telling you guys, I know my things. I I got you. I got you. Yeah, but no, but uh, yeah, it's and I'm interested to see what what. Let's let's hope Amazon's idea is just as good. Yeah, I agree. Um, Not. It's not going to (laughs) be. Um. For me, I'm going for another movie here, and it's going to be the Far Cry 5 movie. I think Far Cry 5 would lend itself so well to a movie. It's current. It's about the state of uh, politics in the U.S., about a radical cultist creating his own religion, trying to take over a small town in Montana. Um Greg Burke, the guy who played the father, he's a phenomenal actor, and he could come back and play the father in the game. Like I said, in the fan casting, Ryan Gosling as the deputy. And uh, the guy who played the chief of police in uh, um, Peacemaker. He's oh. actually he's actually one of the one of the uh, one of the agents in Far Cry Five as well, and bring him back as Sheriff Whitetail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I think it would lend itself so well. Uh, you you can bring in uh, Campbell Anya Taylor Joy as uh, the daughter, 
the sister. Hey, let's not overuse her, all right? Well, I don't but, know. I kind of I mean, wanted to use her as Zelda, but you know what? We'll get back to that later. Anyway. That's but like, choice. I mean, it. I I just think Far Cry, especially with the current econ, not just economic and political times right now. I just think a Far Cry Five movie would work so. I well. don't even think we need to like spin off on that because there's already a really good story there set and characters, everything that's good. Um, yeah. Okay, so for my next one, I want a um, one at least, but I would like to go into a series of very well made, good looking Mega Man movies that are in CG form. Damn so, it. so look like like uh, like a Pixar movie type of thing, but Mega Man because then you expand what you can do. I know Astro Boy was a failure, but I feel like Mega Man uh, has the name behind it enough that you could get people and there's enough story there that and it's kind of loose story in the sense so that you can interpret it however you want as a writer like whoever's writing it you have a baseline but there's not really a story there so you have to put everything in yourself and i think it'll be really cool and you can introduce all the other characters as time goes on you could eventually make him turn into Mega Man x and well, that's it but can I Ethan has it? like two, two, two of the main bosses. So like each season, you can do like woodsman and swordsman, and then on the next yeah. one, flame. Well, like, let me jump in because I actually work. have this on my list too, Mega Man. But you said, what did you say, movie or series? I would take it as like a series of movies, like a universe. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I wanted to do your. Here's the thing. Here's you need the, the budget. W- you need that big yeah. ass budget for that. But but here's the reason why I want a, a, a little shift and change in what, on your on yours just for one thing, and you tell me what you think. I want to have the whole story of Doctor Wiley and Doctor Light because you got to remember they used to work together. I want to have that introduction in the movie to introduce Mega Man, and then like have maybe him and Cut Man be in the first battle. But then what ends up happening is is you know you have Wiley there, and he you get the epic battle. He's training like you get that whole story with them two. Get get introduced, Mega Man. Uh, you can even have role there, but not having her as a character, like a main character yet, just as a you know sister to, to Mega, to Rock. And then and then, but you have also that backstory with Wiley and Light. And then when Wiley does go bad, you can finally have a versus cut in Mega. But then Mega finds out, oh my God, I can actually utilize a power that Light gave me to take that power and use it as my own. And then all of a sudden, because kind of like in Sonic. You know, Sonic, they just introduced one character and one and made, it just flushed the story and the origin. Now that we got the origin, when you get to part two, now you can start bringing more stages in because you've introduced the, the element of the destruction. Now you can bring in role as well and make more, you know, more like, a, a, like you know, maybe roles uh, like kidnapped or things of that nature, things that would make Mega Man go after him. And now, not in a stage point, but like you can actually have epic battles where but Mega Man can be fighting literally all the characters at one time, blasts him away using Cut Man's ability, and then he kills like you know I don't know Guts Man or anything like that, takes his power to use it against the other ones, and you have these epic battles where they're fighting, and you can literally make this an epic movie that would be the sequel, but you've already introduced it in part one, so you've given us the backstory, you've given us a reason why to care about Mega Man because he's like a son that was made by. Here's Doctor. my thing with that, and I. Rush, disagree. you got to bring in Rush. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah Rush I, I could think, be, yeah. I think your story, I think your idea is really good, but my only issue with it is, as someone who watches a lot of movies, I don't think your first movie is going to draw enough attention to get you a sequel. If that makes sense, like you're really like banking on a movie like that and putting all of the main action stuff in the second movie, I don't well, think... Because well, it's not Lord of the Rings, right? You're not telling an epic story. Have, animated... have, the, have, the, have the battle, not the battle, but like the conflict between Light and Wily in flashbacks. Well, yeah, in the first saying, I, I think Putty's idea see, is good. I just think you yeah. have but, to but have reason, more in the first movie. But that's what I'm saying. They're, they're still giving me action. You got to think. You have all those characters like Proto Man and all that, and you also have Cut Man and all the side characters. Imagine him going and like battling a bunch of different robots, and all of a sudden he gets up to a little helmet. It goes ping, 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 ping. He's like, "What the hell do I do?" Like you could add comedy elements in there as well with little things like that. Well, I think you have to with Mega Man. It has to have like yeah. But he was Sam saying you can have all the action. I feel like adding a boss at the end gives it more of a like he uh, fights the other ones. He learns how to fight. How about this? He's fought a boss. Now he can fight him more often now. You know what I mean? Ryan Reynolds as Mega Man. I'm down. I'm down. Got it. All uh, good. Okay. All good. Shady, give me another one. Do you have any more? Peter Dinklage as Mega Man. I want Ryan Reynolds. 
<laughs> I like I like it. Just because he's short, that's wrong, man. That's wrong. No, you know but I think he would make a great Mega Man. No, he. Yeah, really I think the voice would work because yeah, it'd be so. Yeah. It was so out of place. Uh, um, for me, Disney Plus make a Star Wars: The Old Republic game. Oh yeah. Well, oh, movie I'm, or movie or, or series? The game. Series. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. yes, yeah. a series. Uh, Old Republic series, not Knights of the Old Republic, but the Old Republic, because there's oh, just so much lore and there's so much to do in that that I think, and it's something that hasn't been touched upon yet in this current batch of Star Wars universe since Disney bought them out. We talk a lot about what's going forward. They've released sequels, not prequels. Everything that's happening in the Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett. Um, the the only thing that's going back in the past is the Obi-Wan series, but mm -hmm. it's not going far enough back and we don't have enough of that expanded universe like we used to have in the Legends. So to bring back and bring back like bring back Revan. And you can cast hey. you don't and you don't have to cast anybody that's known now. You literally can cast anybody you want because you're looking at a history that's not even been. And this is before even the old, the OG movies too, or the right. sequels. I say. Yeah, we're so. talking like four thousand years prior yeah. to the OG films, I and like I think it's something that could lend itself well. It'll bring back some of those uh, disenfranchised Star Wars fans like myself. Like, yes, granted, Boba Fett is doing wonders, and Mandalorian is doing wonders. But the prequels and the sequels, they were okay. I, but I think what Star Wars is missing, and this is something important. So in, in the episode one, two, and three, you see the Jedi stuff. And then later on, you see the extinction of Jedis and you cling on to this character. I think what something that we've never seen is what is it like when all the Jedis exist and still interact with each yes. other? Because in episode yeah. one, two, and three, they don't properly flesh that out we just no. know that they exist and oh that's the guy from the book that's the guy from the comic they become they, complacent yeah and if and they wanted to i think even, that i think that would be really cool and even if they wanted to take from other things the thing is is i know myself as a star wars fan i want to see in live action the formation of the jedi council like that is something that has not and been you can done. do that in the old republic exactly and then the, like the, the first great uh, they called it the great schism or something like that where mm -hmm. the where the sith and the jedi they finally like bring in someone like darth bane yes and well that's my whole point is that's a perfect thing because that's something we don't have but you don't want to do that i always felt that shouldn't be done in a movie because it's too big and vast and with you doing the jedi doing something with the jedi council that means they can govern things and we could see people being against the Jedi because they don't like certain things. So you could see that criminal empire starting to be built. Yeah, that would be dope. Of, yeah. You know what I mean? And then we could just see that dark side of that. Of like, like, like even the, what makes that great is you could literally have even the Mandalorians be part of that and be like, yeah. you know, we've been a society and we are against Jedis because they think... Well, they're, they're bring in Tar Vizsla. Yes. Oh, oh my see, God. And they can show the backstories for Dark Helmet and uh, Pizza mm -hmm. the Hut. And yes, Pizza yes. the Hut. Yes. And, and and then and then you have all those characters. Colonel Sanders, from, uh, from, yeah, from from uh, Robot Chicken as well too. If we're gonna go that far. Oh my god! Uh, all I right, is it my to... turn yet? Yeah, oh, yeah go sure. for it. Why not? Go ahead. All right, I want an anime series based on Chrono Trigger. Um, even if it's an anime movie, I think there's so 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 much lore and story in that world and i cannot believe they've never explored it especially after after the first two games you didn't even make any more games like and the characters are so cool and they lend themselves perfectly to the anime form and i don't want a realistic version of that i want it to be but it has to be overseen anime. by akira toriyama that's fine i will allow this uh, i think that would be really good and that's what i want to see and the putty you got any more uh, nothing. The only other one I really want to see is a Gears of War movie. I mean, that's just more of a, a more of a personal thing. But I would love to see when the uh, Locust first, uh, uh, you know, came out from under the ground. Uh, Starship and, Troopers. Yeah, and see, thing is, I feel like I feel like Gears of War just visually ha has a good look to be a movie. But then at the same time, because radar movies are way more accepted, we want that visceralness. You know, but even those horror fans, if they get to see a uh, a, a lancer going through someone's body, uh, one of the, the locusts' body, that would be. Like I'll take it, but I want Paul Verhoeven to direct it. 
Okay, I'm down. I want you a bowl to direct. No, <laughs> no, uh, no. JD, you have any other ones? Then, then he's gonna, then he's gonna flash. Then he's just gonna flash clips from Gears of War, but it'll be like Gears of War Judgment, the worst version. Yeah, of exactly. Worst, yeah, on a rail um, shoot. Yeah, <laughs> I got one more. Um, only because we mentioned this in the uh, one of the other episodes too. Is we talked about a game called The Saboteur, and I want to see The Saboteur turn into a movie as well. I think that's it, a good it, idea. It it takes place during World War II. It's about this Irish guy who's basically given up. He's recruited by this underground resistance to fight the Nazis to liberate Paris. I think it's the game itself has a great story and it would lend itself so well to a movie. That's that's a good choice. Um yeah, okay. So I got a couple here. I'm just gonna blow through them. So for time's sake. Uh obviously Splinter Cell, I would love to see that as a series or a move mm-hmm. series of movies. Um, mm-hmm. I would love to see a CGI Sly Cooper movie in the same vein as Ocean's Eleven. I know there's a movie coming out right now yes. that's very similar to that, but I think if you use Sly Cooper, it could be really good. There's been, there, there's been a show that's been supposedly being made that's been in development hell forever, and I know Sony's scared because Ratchet and Clank didn't make that much money, but I think I think Sly Cooper is a good choice to go forward yeah. with a movie like that. That would be good. I would also like to see um castlevania in the same Mm -hmm. vein as the anime but done in live action either in a series of movies like lord of the rings or a tv show like game of thrones where it's really drawn out and it's political and it's all about this like we're getting to the next part getting to the next part and I, i really think there's so much potential there for that especially after seeing how the anime handled that and last and sorry to oh yeah go, go. just to add on to your castlevania there's different timelines so you can use yes. different belmonts you can yeah. use different points in history so i i really like that idea which could work in the same vein as the whole zelda well i think you, you can I mean? you can spin off of it because at the end spoilers okay everybody spoilers for castlevania the anime putty plug your ears oh. um there's at the end very end of the show there's a baby born you could can you could make the live action show continue from the anime with that character as he's older oh yes yes and, and that Alucard is so can good come back because he's still gonna be alive and he's immortal and i think you have potential there because then you're continuing you're good put put the headphones on oh, okay. uh but uh i think that that could work really well and lastly yeah. I, I really would like to see in exactly the same way that you did goonies and or stranger things earthbound world oh just, my god yes so just amazing. do it just like that just like mm-hmm. that with yeah. the weirdo friggin' bugs and and aliens and these kids are trying to figure out what happened i, I really want that i think that would be fantastic yeah. and i think after seeing ghostbusters stranger things all these stuff do similar like stories people will buy yeah. it people will be in on it that, that's a great idea that's great idea have. I've got two more left, basically. But okay, go. Get blow through it like I just did. Okay. Yeah. So just quickly, I would love a God of War. I feel like it has the longevity as long as the first movie is good. And you can finally, like in the later movies, Bright introduces son, so you can have that storyline. Now, this one, there's a rumor that this is going to happen based on The Rock because he actually tweeted that he's actually doing a big video game movie. It's a major video game, but he's not spoiling it. And I think I know what it is. And if it is, then I'm going to throw this out there. I think they're making the Fortnite movie. Now, hear me out. I know that sounds strange because nobody knows it. There's lore behind the Save the World, but there's lore in the actual Battle Royale called the Seven. And the Seven are the ones that contain the loop and the other dimensions. That's why all these characters from other video game worlds are coming in. But The Rock plays a character named The Foundation. If they were to just go and leave all that crossover stuff away. The Rock. I get it. The the Rock. The Foundation. Yeah, uh, yes. You didn't get it. Um, anyway, continue. But but the point is, is the seven's a big part of this, the story now. But they don't know who the other t- last three of the seven. There's only been uh, uh, four revealed, and the Rock is one of them as the foundation. Which again, yeah, I get it now. Anyway, my point to the thing is, is if they are make, are making the movie, that's awesome, and I it looks like they're going to use the Rock as the foundation. If they're not, they need to because the lore is very uh, very complicated. But if they took the Rock and actually made the seven. And explained the whole lore of the multi dimensions and how they control the multi dimensions. It could make for a really good story that can, because there was already a lot of Fortnite fans that would go see it. 
but I think it would also tell more story of the game that people don't know about because it's never put out there right in front of your face. It's like more like text and everything. So because they're so big right now, I think they need to capitalize on it. If they're going to make a movie and The Rock is willing to be part of that, do it good, do it right, and focus on that story. Don't try to be gimmicky. Focus on a story that actually cohesively works. So I had to throw that out there. And that's it. That's my. That's what I've got for my All right. Uh, I'll, I'll breeze through two more quick ones. Um, both PlayStation IPs, Days Gone, I think would make a fantastic series yeah. um, about a guy crossing the country like trying to find like the story itself is is a decent story the game wasn't all that great i think it just got some bad press but this game wasn't that bad but i think that would work itself really good and uh uh horizon zero dawn that would be that would that would series would would be especially now with someone like a netflix or an amazon people with money behind them they would do so well because they can get the effects out there now they can get all the tall like those tall things especially with female-led characters like really coming out now i feel like Mm -hmm. that would have been like i'm surprised no one's even tried to option that already and becky lynch is aloy (laughs) yeah i'll take it Mm -hmm. i'll definitely take gg dolan gg dolan uh, yeah, but that's it. Okay, guys, thank you. Yeah. Let us know which video game you want to see turned into uh, a movie or a TV show. Check Sounds out Fighting, check out JD. Oh. And uh, don't let him talk anymore, guys. Peace out.